this reminds me when we were young. Hey, what's going on everyone? I am Mike Bryant, a approach instructor. I assume that since you're here, you've already been to Eric's page to check out his videos, which come before this one, okay? So if you haven't, then go ahead and stop this video now, go to Eric's page, because that is the prerequisite, and watch those videos on the vocal workout, then come back here so that you can understand everything that I'll be discussing, because my information is following his, okay? All right, now let's go ahead and jump into it. I wanna to talk to you guys about a very useful tool that can help you to belt, to have intensity in your tone, to have connection in your body, and to have more focus and balance in your voice. All right, now this, again, is an extension of the foundation that Eric has already laid. And that foundation is making sure that your breath roots and as your breath roots down to your pelvic floor and you feel that expansion and you feel the lengthening and opening of your body, you then go to produce your tone. And when you produce your tone, you have a felt sense of suspension and openness at your rib cage that then allows you to have a full, resonant, healthy voice. All right, so that's what I want to expound on today. And I want to talk to you about something called the hiss. Now. Some of you, or uh, many of you, or maybe none of you, who knows? <laughs> but you may or may not be familiar with the hiss. But allow me to explain a couple things that will give you more insight to the hiss so that you can achieve the healthy voice that I'm referring to and give you that sense of power and fullness in your tone. So why the hiss? Because the hiss teaches your body to connect and to manage and control your breath efficiently so that your throat can remain free, your body can be compressed, and your voice, again, can be healthy and can be open. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move now, let's talk about the coordination of the hiss. So let's just jump into it. If you're sitting, I would prefer you to stand. You can stay seated if you like, but if you can stand, that'll be perfect. And what I want you to do, you know, just stand there with your feet about shoulder width apart. Just let your body relax. And let's first start off with the root. And I have to mention this again. The coordination cannot be done without rooting the breath first. You must breathe into your pelvis first, and then you hiss. All right, so I just wanna reemphasize that. And again, if you watch Eric first in his videos, that is what he expounds on, okay? So let's just go ahead and warm up with that. Let's take a breath in, feel the pelvis expand, feel the lengthening of your body openness, and then just let the breath go. Don't hold your breath, so just hiss, I mean, I'm sorry, just, we're about to get to that. Just root down, feel the lengthening in the opening, and then just let the breath go. So let's do that a couple times. I'm, a, I'm kind of going to be talking <laughs> as, as you guys do it. So you keep going. I'll keep instructing. So take a breath in. Feel the pelvis. Feel the lengthening of the body. Feel your ribcage open and let your breath go. Let's do that one more time. Take a breath in. Feel the lengthening in the opening. Let the breath go. And I want you to do that for a couple of minutes to get that energy moving, okay? And as Eric explained in his video, the first couple of minutes, you know, when you let the breath go, the body will kind of deflate. But after that, I then want you to let the breath go, but keep a sense of suspension and openness at your rib cage, okay? And you're also going to feel your abdomen moving in. So let's get into that part now. I want you to root again. And then I want you to allow the breath to leave your body through a hiss sound like this. And as I'm hissing, I'm not and letting everything just fall down and collapse. I'm allowing my abdomen to pull in. I'm not pulling it in purposefully. I'm not flexing like I'm at a beach, but I'm allowing my abdomen to pull in effortlessly and on its own but I'm also having a sense of suspension and openness at my rib cage. I feel that stay open, okay? So let's do that again. Take a breath, root down to your pelvis. 
Let's hiss. All right, let's do that again. Take a breath down to your balls as Eric mentioned in his video. And again, if you saw his video, you'll understand that reference. All right, so breathe down to the pelvis. Feel the lengthening and the openness. Hiss. Now, after you do that a couple of times, then you're ready to take it to the last step. And this is what is going to lead you in to belting and having a powerful voice, especially in the upper range. I was so scared to face my fears Cause nobody told me that you'd be here And I swear you moved overseas So in the song that I sang, We're going to pulse the hiss along the melody of the song. Now, there's no tone as we hiss, but you're still feeling the energy move. So just to kind of help you um, follow me a little bit more clearly, I'm going to clap my hand along the melody of the line, and you're going to hear my hiss pulsing along the melody, and then we're going to take that into the words. Okay? So, the part is... Oh! I look into your eyes, and now I... So let's go to that part. But first I'm gonna hiss and pulse through it. So here we go. And I just take it until I ran out of breath. I'm gonna do it one more time and then I'm gonna sing it for you. And again, before I started my hiss, I rooted my breath first, then I went into it, okay? So now I'm gonna root my breath again, I'm gonna sustain the hiss long enough to feel the connection to the body, and I'm just gonna hiss right into the words without trying to add anything extra, without trying to let my body go out of control, because actually it's gonna be in control because of the hiss, okay? So it's, it's a physical thing, but it's a mental thing too, because you know the high notes are there, and it's kinda like, oh, I gotta rev up and just throw it out. Don't do that. Allow the hiss to determine the energy that is appropriate and necessary to hit those notes. Let the hiss tell your body what to do. Don't try to force it into any other, um, any other volume or any other way of trying to get that power. All right, so here we go. So look into your eyes. So now I know. And I just go straight through it. All right, I'm gonna do it again. Again, I'm not pushing through, but I'm just hissing to get my body connected. Then I go into the belty parts. Root first. So I look into your eyes, and now I know. Now I know. And it's there. I didn't feel like I had to reach for it. I didn't feel like I had to push for it. I just felt my body connect from the hiss and I felt like just like a steamroller. I could just go straight through it without any problems. And I can do it over and over and over again and maintain that vocal health, okay? So that's pretty much it. But there's one more part I wanna take you through. What if you have like a super duper high note? <laughs> a super duper high note, which I did have in this song, I wanna show you that this can apply to any part of your range. Now, what I just did was in my belt mix voice, okay? But there was a part in the ad lib that was a head voice on the very top note that then blended down into my mix voice. So I wanna show you that. Uh, the words were, what was that part? If somebody loves you, okay? So let me hiss through it first. All right, I'm doing it again. I'm gonna root first, as I just did. Now, I'm gonna actually do something a little bit different. I'm gonna sustain this top note so you can see 
um, where it's landing. And you, I, I challenge you to do the same thing. I want you to condition yourself on sustaining some of these notes, even though um, it might be a run, but if it's still in a belty part, if it was a belty part, then I want you to sustain it to make sure that you're feeling that connection. Okay, here's an example. See. Do it again. Root. See. All right, one more time. See. And then I'm going to take it into the whole part. So here we go. See if somebody loves you. And if I just did it without the hiss, if somebody loves you. And I just take it straight on through because the hiss allows me to feel that connection. And just a side note, I said, now if I do without the hiss, just to show you, of course, when you're actually singing and you're in a booth, you can't like literally hiss throughout the song. <laughs> but this is a training mechanism to get you there. And then when you go to sing it without hissing, if somebody loves you, it'll be there for you. And the voice will be open, the body will be connected, and you will be healthy, vocally healthy. All right, so I hope that you all understood this. And if you need more guidance on this, please contact me either here on the you know YouTube messaging, I guess is what it's called, or you can hit me up at michaelwilsonbryant at gmail.com to schedule a one-on-one -on -one session. And if you wanna work with any of the AirPorch instructors, you can go to airports.com and hit us up and we will be willing and excited to help you take your voice to your next level. So go ahead and cut this video off. Or actually, if you want to watch it again, watch it again and just make sure that you understand everything. But after the, after you cut the video off, go ahead and practice some more. Go to those belty parts of your song. Remember, root the breath. As the breath roots and you feel the body lengthen and open, first just work with sustaining just a, a regular hiss. And as you do that, feel the openness of the rib cage and the inward movement of the abdomen. And then do your pulse hissing on the melody and then take that into the words and then be an, a phenomenal singer. <laughs> All right, so again, hit us up. We wanna work with you. And until next time, see you guys later. Everybody loves the things you do From the way you talk To the way you move Everybody here is watching you cause you feel like home you're like a dream come true